Hi, welcome to Modern Art Gallery 3D version 2.1 Tutorial video. Firstly, what has changed in the project files? Let's take a quick look. Previous version project file have been updated with new features is here. The file name is Video and Image Gallery. But this image gallery is new project file. This project file has been created for users who want to use only images in the gallery. If you don't want to use the video clip files, this version is working to render very fast as compared to the previous version. And another new project file and name is Texturizer. This project file is required for image gallery project file. Let's start with the new files. Open the image gallery. I see the empty composition. Because, Element 3D needs the file path, so, relink process is required. Go to, Element 3D Magazine Layer, and, Effect Panel. Click the Scene Setup, and open the Element 3D. Click the file, and click the Relink Scene Files. Open the Select Folder, and find the Main Project Folder. Select the main project folder and click the OK button. Click the Relink button. Now all the files is founded. Click the OK button. Click the Close and click the OK for going to the main composition. Please wait for the update process. And is done. Gallery is ready. But you will see the empty images on the walls. These are the texture files that I made previously. And the image files must be converted to texture files for using in the gallery. This new system, it is very important to accelerate for the rendering process. Now, let's see how to do this process. Save the file. and open the texturizer project file this project will convert your images to the texture files and only for the use in this image gallery project now double click on the placeholder for the importing your images here you need to choose your own images these sample images not included in the project a small detail this has changed the design of the frame with this new version now as it should be is designed with sharp corners go to the style control layer in the effect panel you can change the frame settings in this section option 1 frame on off style selection option 2 frame size for the thickness and option 3 frame color let's continue to adding other pictures I want to accelerate the video for quickly import the other images This project automatically resizes all the images to make the texture with the best size. And for images, all the dimensions and proportions are supported. Now, let's take out these images as texture files. All rendering settings were prepared in advance and stored in the render queue. If you want to control the format settings, should be like that here. Format is PNG sequence. Channels is RGB and alpha. You can see default texture files inside the your images folder. To replacing the default texture files, the output file is we need to mark into this folder. Click the output file name, 
and save inside the Your Images folder. Now, click the Render button. We are sure to replace existing files, and click the OK button. You can watch the changing files of looking into the file folder. The rendering process finished. We can save and close the project. Now, return to the image gallery project. When the project opens, you can still see the old default textures, because last preview frame may be left in the cache or memory. Please, go to the any frame in the timeline for the update process or cache refreshing. Wait the update process. Update process was finished. All images was transferred. And yes, project is working very fast. And now, go to the Magazine Control Layer and Effect Panel. All style controls in here, and you can change the style of the gallery. Ceiling Enable or Disable. And Ceiling Color, it works if the Ceiling Mode enabled. Gallery walls are divided into two groups for the color change. Ground Base option is the changeable colored system. Other options, wood clean or brown. Changeable colored sofa system. Art objects enable or disable control. And decorative plants enable or disable control. You can use these options for many variations of the gallery. There is no change in performance, project continues to working very fast. And before I forget, you can change the gallery name in here. Image gallery section is the end. You can start the rendering process as you wish. Now, we can examine the video and image gallery project. File, open. Select the video and image gallery project. And open. This project has been designed for those who want to use video clip files in the gallery. Of course, the project also supports image files. I see the empty composition, because Element 3D needs the file path, so relink process is required. Go to Element 3D Magazine Layer and Effect Panel. Click the Scene Setup and open the Element 3D. Click the file and click the Relink Scene Files. Open the Select folder and find the Main Project folder. Select the main project folder and click the OK button. Click the relink button. Now all the files is founded. Click the close and click the OK for going to the main composition. Please wait for the update process. And is done. But I don't see placeholders on the walls. Because this relink process is required to the other element 3D effects. And again. Scene setup. File. Relink scene files. Select the main project folder. OK. Relink. OK. Close. And OK.
and again. Again. And again. Again. And is complete. Gallery is ready. And now go to the magazine control layer and effect panel. All style controls in here and you can change the style of the gallery. And in addition, frame controls is also available. Frame on off style selection, frame size for the thickness and frame color. And placeholders are available in the project library. Images can be added directly. But I want to add a video clip file as an example. First I want to show you this file externally. And this sample video clip duration is 4 seconds. Select the video file and import so add a placeholder. And go to camera number 01 in the main timeline for this placeholder number 01. And I don't see video clip file because video clip duration is 4 seconds. So this file will require timeline editing in the texture composition. Open the video clip texture composition. To edit the timing, let go to the first frame of the camera inside the main composition. Drag the timeline with pressing shift so upper key on the keyboard. This is short way. And time code is 08 seconds. Again go to the video clip texture composition. Go to time of the 8th second. And move the all files for the first frames. And let's check the last frame. It is OK. Now select the all layers. Right click on the layers, select time and click the enable time remapping option. Now drag and extend the first frames of the layers to the composition first frame. Let's check the video in the timeline first frame, first frame. It is OK. Played. Played. And last frame. It is OK. Let's check the video in the main timeline. If the camera time has not started, video will be waiting at the first frame. And camera is watching. Video will be playing. If the camera time has finished, video will be waiting at the last frame. In this way, you can edit the video files for the gallery. And tutorial video ends here. I hope you enjoyed. And please don't forget to vote for this project. Thank you for watching.